Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing out there this Sunday morning? Guys, put your clocks back an hour. Yeah, <laughs> got an extra hour of sleep. Still feel, still feel tired. <laughs> Went to bed early. Went to bed at 11, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. I can't remember. So, yeah. <laughs> and I woke up because I thought it was late in the morning but it was actually early because the clocks went back, went back an hour so it's kind of weird isn't it yeah it's kind of foggy out here this morning it's cold so it's more like a freeze fog basically everybody watching their nfl games today so yeah watching football today uh, making some pot of chili or something i don't know making something today i figure I get on here it's like eight o'clock in the morning or close to it Sunday so October 7th already wow yep October 7th wow 2021 yeah how's everybody doing out there this morning probably still in bed <laughs> bars hey the bars got to stay open an extra hour the clock's going back an hour bet people love that <laughs> yeah it's cold out here I'm not gonna be out here very long cold and foggy just getting on here see everybody's up to today see how everybody's doing out there let me know if you guys lost your job i mean what happened during the pandemic just let me know what happened with your job did you lose your job did they shut down did they do if you have a desk job did they basically have you work from home i know a lot of places are still doing that work from home when i call my credit union I heard a dog in the background. I said, you at home? They're like, yeah. One time I heard kids in the background. And the guy goes, yeah, we're working from home. So a lot of people like that. Basically, you don't have to go nowhere. Get up and drive. You basically just get up, get ready, and work from your house. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. You know, it's bad about it. If you got kids or animals <laughs> barking in the background. I mean, some people just like, I, I just ask questions. You know, I probably knew what they were doing working from home on a herd dog because when you call customer service you don't hear dogs barking in the background at an office building you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep boy it's cold out here there's like ice on the windows of the cars and it's foggy you see it in the background there it's real foggy i'm along the ohio river and it's when we get fog we get it pretty thick because we're right there right by water so yeah Go Cincinnati Bengals today. Bengals. Bengals. See that? Bengals. Yeah. They play Cleveland today out here. Yeah, they, from uh, the stadiums, like literally right across the river from me, about a mile and a half. Not too far. So. And they're building this area up. They're putting million, multi million dollar homes right, right behind me here two blocks away right along the river so i'm talking about multi-million there's like eight hundred thousand dollar homes a million two million three million one and a half million two and a half million three million four million get that river view you know people get the beach front front uh, excuse me beach front properties these are riverfront properties <laughs> but they're building them homes fast I don't know how they're worth that much money with and they you know what I mean when they build them in about a month you know what I mean pretty fast and they start falling apart I'm in an older home it was built back in 1800s built like a brick house solid yeah 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 cause my friend does restoration work he said these new homes are just packed with styrofoam that's how cheap they are I'm like really he goes yeah he said they're easy to tear down because they're packed with styrofoam in the middle. I'm like, what? I said, wow. When I'm paying, they're paying a million dollars for a house full of packed styrofoam. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> That's crazy. You know, the quality went downhill really because it's like how many we can build and how fast we can build them. It's all about money. How fast can we make that money? How fast can we build them? And, and how many we can make in a short period of time? That's what it is nowadays. It's like... Yeah, I mean, that's one of my friends, their cars, they still drive uh, 70s and 80s cars because they're still on the road. You won't get that with a new car. No way. 
they start falling apart. I mean, I bought a used car and tell you, since I had it, I did did eighteen thousand dollars of work done to it. It had like two recalls they didn't tell me about. They said, "Oh yeah, we checked for recalls." They use a credit bureau to check for recalls. Experian, I think it was. Some, they do some kind of data, but apparently their data is not correct because I had to take it to a dealer, and they I think they had it for three days. Yeah, they had to replace all the timing chains. So basically, they had to take the motor out and put it back in again, and they didn't do a good job because. They didn't test drive it when they were done. They didn't tighten the front end parts down or something because it was making all kinds of banging and clanging noises on the highway. I called the manager up. I said, do you test drive your vehicles after you work on them? He said, no, we don't. I said, you ought to. If they would drove that car, just a couple blocks, they would notice that noise. So I had to pay somebody to basically tighten the bolts down. They didn't tighten down all the way. They were tight, but they wouldn't snug. They were snug, but not tighten all the way. Like they was rushing through it and forgot to tighten it all the way. So when I was driving, the front end was going click, clang, bang, clang, clink, clink, click, bang, click, 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 bang. I'm like, it scared me. I don't know what it was. My damn tire's gonna fall off. The front end's gonna fall off. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, that's how it is nowadays. No, we don't test drive our vehicles after we work on them. I said, you ought to. I never came back since. I said, nope, I'm not dealing with these car places anymore, these dealerships. If that's the way they're going to do it, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm going to hop off here. My hands are freezing. <laughs> I'm holding this phone up and it's freezing out here. It's got to be 28 degrees, 30 degrees. It's foggy. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's foggy out here. Freeze fog. They call it freeze fog. That's correct. Yeah, it's colder and crap out here. Whew. Wow. Now I'm just out here trying to get some uh, steps in. So I'm going to go back in. I let the dogs back in. So they've been in the house for eight hours. I know they had to go outside for a little bit. I let them out here for about 35 minutes. They want to go in because they know it's cold out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. Just comment down below. Let me know how you guys doing today. Comment down below. Let me know how you guys doing. And um, let me know. Let me know your job situation during the pandemic. You know what I mean? Still got your job. But what's going on? Where are you guys from and everything. Okay. Thanks for watching. Okay. Appreciate you guys watching my videos. I really do. Okay. Alrighty. Take care. Bye now. Go Bengals.